We need it, especially after this. It's the aftermath of flooding on Christmas Day. It's at No Kill Louisville Animal Rescue and Pet Food Bank. A pipe burst on the second floor of the building, causing severe water damage to the nonprofit, ruining most of their cat and dog food. Families here in the metro depend on this resource, and now the shelter is looking for donations to buy more food for the facility. WHAS 11's Taylor Woods is in the newsroom with more. Well, Tom, this water pipe damage came through the ceiling of another unit above the business happening just days before the pet food bank's distribution day. And now they're looking to the community for help to supply pet families in need with food. We can't get in because of the electrical on the floor. Jeremy and Rebecca Ficklin woke up on Christmas Day to their business flooded. It's a nightmare they never yeah, wished second. for. All of this got wet. All these bags got tremendously wet. All of our re, uh, fundraising resources. 80% of these bags filled with pet food and resources now ruined just days before their distribution day. The couple was notified by one of the workers in the building. When we found out we didn't know the extent of the damage or the, even the extent of the flooding. Until they saw this, their ceiling caved in with water seeping through, all because a pipe burst in the unit above their nonprofit. The entire top floor was flooded and pouring down into our space. Now they're trying to dry the floors as much as possible with fans and puddles of water left on the ground. All of this office stuff, this has all been damaged. Um, this all got wet. We still have standing water in, in all of our containers. Including boxes like this, filled with tons of food, now flooded, leaving most not able to be used. Any of the paper bags that got wet, those are a loss. A bag that had any, uh, you know, openings or anything, those are going to be a loss. Even cat litter, that is now all hard. So they're asking for the public's help to repurpose their animal food. They're looking for dry cat and dog food and cat litter. We still have to address the following Saturday or the following month's uh, distribution. Those are still question marks. And you can go to our website at whas11.com to find out how you can donate to No Kill Louisville Pet Food Bank. In the newsroom, Taylor Woods, WHAS 11 on your side.